from members of the community manipulating the market to the rep value system just outright not working. It seems like we have a lot of things to talk about today regarding Pet Simulator 99. Both of these things have a huge impact on what we're about to see happen in the market. And if you're doing any sort of trading in the game, you're probably going to want to hear this stuff. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for pretty much the most up-to-date market information about Pet Simulator 99. And if you want even more information and quicker access to that stuff, you can find it on my Discord at discord.gg slash Mateo. That's where you can find most of the content that I talk about in these videos before the video comes out. Let's get right into it though because we have a lot of juicy stuff to talk about. All right, you guys. So as you may know, we have had a lot of inflation happening in the Pet Simulator 99 market. And we are currently seeing the all-time high prices for stuff like huges, exclusives, exclusive eggs, stuff like that are at all-time highs. And it's getting pretty unaffordable for the average player to afford these types of pets. And one major reason why a lot of people think that this inflation is happening this severely is due to one of these exploits that were happening in the game where some hackers had an ability to tp to all of those balloons that are floating around the map and then automatically pop them and collect all of those large gift bags and the small gift bags so a lot of people believe that was pumping in a lot a lot of diamonds into the economy and is basically what caused all of this inflation that we're currently seeing now word on the street is that they did fix this and uh, the exploit is no longer available so people aren't making all of these diamonds that are going to be entering into the market. Personally, I don't believe that this exploit truly had that big of an effect on the market. Because as we know, there are some other exploits that have been in the game for a while that people have been taking advantage of and making millions and millions of diamonds each day using bots and stuff like that. So I don't think this exploit was honestly any different than those. So I don't think them patching this or even fixing it is going to actually cause some big deflation that a lot of people are expecting to see. Some of those other exploits that we could talk about are like the fishing one where people were getting like a million of those magic shards and selling them on the market or stuff like the excavation chests uh, exploit where people were teleporting and farming all those chests to get loot and stuff like that. Those have been in the game for a while and I'm pretty sure those haven't been fixed yet. Uh, so all of that stuff has been propelling the market anyways behind the scenes. Uh, so I don't think that this exploit with the balloons was honestly any different. Now there has been some controversy with some big names in the Pet Simulator 99 community. Uh, it's where people are saying that they're trying to manipulate their followers and try to manipulate the market with tweets and such. On the screen now, I'm going to have the first tweet from that member in the community calling for deflation. And not even 24 hours, we got another tweet from the same person as you can see on the screen here. Basically claiming that they expect for a huge deflation period to come. And so much so they believe this that they've invested uh, $25 billion by selling all of their cheap huges uh, in anticipation that this big deflation is going to happen. By tweeting this, they were influencing their followers and people that see this in the market into thinking that there may be some deflation period. Now, it does seem like from the replies of the tweet that they were anticipating this big deflation period to happen because of that nerf or the uh, patch to the balloon method that those exploiters were using. Personally, I don't think this is a big enough uh, thing to really cause an actual deflation period in the market. Maybe we get like a little one with some panic sellers, but honestly, this isn't a long-term enough impact on the market that we're actually going to see like a big deflation period that is really worthy of going ahead and selling 25 billion worth of cheap huges. Now, obviously, there is nothing wrong with sharing how you are investing in the game. And as you guys know, I do that pretty much all the time on this channel. But a lot of people were speculating and saying that they were trying to manipulate the market maliciously. Personally, I don't necessarily think this is the case. 
I think they were just making a big bet, and it was just such a big bet that they wanted to share it with their followers, which is pretty understandable. At the end of the day, trades like these are pretty much just content for many uh, social media creators, so there's nothing wrong with sharing those ideas. Now, some people are kind of upset because they feel like they are just trying to manipulate like a younger audience into selling their stuff so they can buy afterwards. The only thing that I can say relating to that is that everybody that's watching or listening to any social media creators should be doing the due diligence for themselves to look at the market and make that determination. In my videos, I try to tell you only what is already happening in the market and I honestly do not make that many predictions. Uh, I try to just go over the facts and why I think certain things will happen. So if you are listening to the advice of anybody on YouTube or Twitter or whatever platform it might be, just make sure you understand the reasoning why behind it and then you can basically make that determination for yourself whether or not that is trustable information. Now personally, I do not agree with what they think is going to happen in the market. Uh, I think it's possible we see, uh, once again, just a little deflation period of some panic sellers and stuff like that. But in long term, I still think we are going to see inflation just because people are making so many diamonds by just grinding. So that's where I think the majority of the inflation to the huge and exclusive and exclusive egg prices have come from and not from that gift bag method that was being exploited by hackers. And even more so because that person tweeted that out and exposed that they have sold 25 billion diamonds worth of cheap huges. That basically just means that once the prices do fall, if they do at all, they're just going to be pumping those diamonds right back into the same market. All of those 25 billion diamonds are going straight back into cheap huges, which is only going to influence the prices of huges to rise even more. So basically, that is why that I think we will probably see inflation continue and not a big deflation period like they were predicting. I'm going to have their last tweet here on the screen now. As you can see, they did a little poll asking whether or not people on Twitter believe we are going to see a inflation or a deflation period today. So this poll was done about 12 hours ago, basically, at this point, and 66.7% of people voted that no, they don't think there's going to be a deflation period. So I don't think too many people even agreed with them that this was going to happen and did not agree with that $25 billion investment that they're making. Just thought that it was something important to cover and why we could possibly see a deflation, a small deflation period occur just because of tweets like this. But from my point of view, it seems like we are just going to continue seeing inflation and not see like a true deflation period happen for at least a little while, as long as we don't get any crazy leaks or anything like that. Now, an important topic that we do need to cover is that the wrap system actually has not been updated in over 12 hours at this point. So the wrap value of the huge happy computers is currently still just 41 million. So this was the same price it was three updates ago. So some people might think that we've seen like a stabilization period, but this is just not the case. There's something wrong with the Pet Simulator API that is updating these wrap values. Uh, so the wrap values of all of these things have not changed in over 12 hours. So the fact that the wrap system has been broken for over 12 hours is another reason why I think we will see a pretty big inflation period once uh, the wrap begins to update. So here we have a website that shows basically the wrap values over time of certain things in Pet Simulator 99. The website is ps99wrap.com. So this has been pretty useful for me to keep track of prices. But basically what I want to show you guys here is that in the past few wrap updates before the API stopped updating, we could see increases of 400k, 400k, and then 200k. Uh, so this last 200k could be because the API stopped working, so it didn't fully update. So basically what I'm trying to say is if the wrap value system was still working, we probably would have kept seeing 400k wrap value increases each wrap update. 
So because it has been 12 hours since the last wrap update, that's a total of another 1.2 million that should be added onto the wrap value that has not been added quite yet. So we are going to have to see how this plays out once the wrap system begins updating once again. I don't honestly remember a time when the wrap system has glitched out like this and stopped updating. So I guess we are going to see once this gets fixed how this actually affected the prices. We were seeing price increases before the wrap system stopped working. So we could probably expect the prices to rise after it begins working once again. And if that tweet from earlier was correct, then that person is holding 25 billion diamonds waiting for prices of huges to go down. So even if they did end up going down a bit, we would probably see them jump right back up as they begin to invest those diamonds right back into those huges. 25 billion diamonds is so much, that's basically over 600 huge pets at the current price range. So going through and selling all of those is a huge gamble. So honestly, I guess we'll have to wait and see who it turns out to be right about this. So far from all the leaks that we've seen about the update, I don't think there's any significant evidence that we could see any sort of actual deflation coming from the new update. So we will have to wait and see for that, of course. Now, somebody on my last video left a comment that actually made a lot of sense and that could actually be a prediction to when we will see this next update. So I'm going to have the tweet on the screen here uh, from the developer, David, who basically did a poll on Twitter for the Pet Simulator community asking what kind of break that people would want for these clan battles. So as you can see from the poll, 68% of people voted to have a seven day break from the end of a clan battle till the next. So we can predict from this poll that if David actually listened to this, that once this clan battle does end on Friday, that we are going to see a week break and then a new clan battle, which is usually when we do see an update. Now, honestly, due to that tweet from David, I think it is very likely we see the update eight coming out next Saturday and not this Saturday, like I said in the previous video. But we will have to see, of course, uh, the types of leaks that we get coming this week. And the fact that we do not actually have a countdown for the update could be another indicator that it's coming next Saturday and not this Saturday. Once again, that was a lot of yapping. Sorry about that. Hope I got some good information off to you guys at least. Remember to like the video and subscribe for more. I do this kind of yapping pretty much every other day. And I do this yapping on my Discord if you want to join that at discord.gg slash Mateo. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.